Like, it's such a pretty sky. Oh, look, a galaxy! Oh my god, we're in one of the Magellanic Clouds! I think that's the Milky Way. We're not in the Milky Way. We're in one of the Magellanic Clouds. Oh, I can calculate where we are! Or it could be Andromeda. I don't think it's Andromeda. I think we're in one of the Magellanic Clouds. So, if there are this many stars... Okay, let's look at the... Okay, so uh, we're in one of the larger Magellanic Clouds because you can see... Oh, pause, 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 pause. Okay, so the small Magellanic Cloud is is pretty um, spaced out. Like, the stars are not clustered together very tightly. and the, But the large Magellanic Cloud is a lot larger, but it's flatter. And the fact that we can, that we can see this interstellar dust so consistently um, over the skyline, I think we're in the small Magellanic Cloud. And, and there's the Milky Way there. And that must not be a moon. That's got to be a binary that's, far, that's farther away. So we're in a binary system um, with a gas giant. We're orbiting that gas giant, so we're on a moon. And we're in a, we're in a very oblique orbit. We're, we're, I think we're at almost a 45 degree incl inclination. And that must be why that uh, moon is shattered because it's passing between the gas giant and our we might even be a bigger planet like we could be in uh, tidal not tidal lock but we or we might be in tidal lock with this with this gas giant but we might have been captured by this gas giant like we might be the size of mars or something and this might be our moon that's getting pulverized by the um tidal forces between the uh, the gas giant and ourselves now there was another moon somewhere wasn't there no, maybe not. But that that bright that bright thing up here, I think might be a um, a white dwarf or a neutron star or something that's in this system. So it's a it's a binary system um, in the small Magellanic cloud. There's still there's still a lot of stars though. I don't know if the the large the small Magellanic cloud will have this many stars. But like that's fucking neat. We're in, like like. We're in the small Magellanic Cloud. We have to be. Like that 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 was the Milky Way. That's that's pretty awesome. I completely forgot about the game and just just looking at this artwork that they put in here. Like look at how much effort they put in this artwork. Oh my god, and the moon has a moon. Look, there's a, there's a little um um uh Trojan asteroid following it right there. See? Well, uh, like... Well, you can't get anything to scale in this game because... It's all just skybox paintings, but it's like... It seems to be like the size of Phobo Phobos and Deimos. And you can see that it's that it's pretty ill-shapened. Get back underneath here. Uh, like, it, it doesn't have a very good shape. And I think it is orbiting. Oh, there's another one on the other side. Yeah, look, it's orbiting. This in the skybox, the that that moon is turning, and it's got uh, it's got two tidally locked um, asteroids uh, in orbit with it. I don't think that's ejecta because they're. The uh, above where it is on the planet, there isn't chunks missing. How round is that? That's not very round. That's like a class. That's like a class C asteroid or something. Oh man, that's like. And then there's a smaller one over there, but that that could just be parallax. That's making me think that it's smaller. Like those two could be the same size. That is awesomeness. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Oh fuck guys, thank you very much. That was that was a nice thing to look at. Just continuing to geek out hard here. I looked up in the star database uh what this could be and there are a few 
candidates in the small Magellanic cloud that have super soft X-ray sources that could possibly be uh, white dwarfs. Uh, the first one that I stumbled across is Swift J01151.0, which is a a, um, a white dwarf binary system. But then there is also um, XMMU uh, J01014. Seven, uh, which could also be um, the system that they may have taken real life uh, inspiration from, because it is also a uh, white dwarf candidate in the small Magellanic cloud. There are a few of them, very few of them, because apparently this type of uh, white dwarf um, isn't common in the um, uh, in the small Magellanic cloud. I can only find three, two or three, very quickly. There's L53 that discovered a white a white dwarf, but I'm not. None of these papers actually uh, talk about what the paired star is, so it doesn't say what is orbiting with the uh, white dwarf. One of them says it contains an a uh, an M class, so an M class is classified as a as a red dwarf, and would be about nine percent the uh, temperature of our sun. But that could be why um, we have such an, uh, a reddish sky, such a, an Earth-type sky, with um, a star that would be so close. So if the two binaries are orbiting one another and the gas giant is kind of Lagranged in the center, probably not. But uh, if if we happen to be in the center during project assembly, um, that would be sort of maybe a reason that uh, we we have uh, we can they look like the same size. So Proxima Centauri is also a red dwarf. Um, so maybe whatever. See, see, rocket works. Why can't you do shit like that? Do you just do you just rip your game apart and, and put it back together in pieces? Okay, so um, what we're probably going to do? Yeah, we're going to get back to the boring stuff now that we've looked at the sky. Ugh.